The head and chug and spook is one of those hybrid lures that's kind of been developed by taking the best of a couple of great topwater actions. One, the walk the dog of the original uh, Zara spook and the popping action of the original popar. And what they've done is they've just simply changed the front of this bait around, but then still built the side and the concave on the bottom that allows it to walk the dog just like a regular Zara spook. But this cup or, or in, the, in the mouth of it makes it pop or spit just like a popar. So it's kind of a hybrid bait. Now here's a couple things to think about in fishing this type of bait. Uh, one, it is a large bait, so you're probably going to catch a little bit larger fish on it than you do a lot of other topwater baits. Secondly, when you're thinking about color, the most important thing is what's on the bottom. That is what the fish are going to see the most. The color on the top is simply going to throw off a little bit of mirror-like effect or a little hue. This is silver with a, with a black back, so if it had a blue back, it's going to throw off a little blue hue, but the color on the bottom is what you really want to look for. The other thing you want to think about is when you tie this lure on. Now, and I've been fishing it today, mostly using it to let it spit. I want it to spit water. It would walk pretty good, not perfectly, but pretty good. And so I tied direct, just a regular Jimmy Houston knot, cinch that knot down tight. Now, if you want the bait to do more walking and less spitting, you want to tie a loop knot on it or just add a little snap to it. In fact, it's a little bit hard to get your bait down in there to tie a Jimmy Houston knot on. So you can add a little snap or a split ring down to that little eye. That'll probably make it a little bit easier for just about everything you throw. It comes with tremendously good hooks on it, tremendously big, good O-rings, and something else to think about, if you're around any, any salt water uh, and catching reds or speckled trout, this is also an excellent bait for that. A chug and spook, and to make it complete, a great big rattle. It's probably one of the most complete topwater baits that you'll ever be able to throw.